Hi friends, welcome to Spring Batch tutorial series by Java Coding Skills. Today we are gonna learn about you know how to create our first Spring Batch application. So if you uh, like the video, please do like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. So let's start. So in order to create a Spring Batch application, we can choose a Spring Framework. So today I'm gonna show you using a Spring Boot. As a Spring Boot is easy to create and deploy and test, so I'm choosing that. You can choose any other way as well. So for that, I'm going to use Spring Initializer. You might aware of this Spring IO, right? Spring Initializer. If you use this start.spring.io, you might get something like this. So I'm going to use this Maven project. You can choose Gradle as well. So language is Java and I'm going to use Spring Boot here and version is higher version like 2.7. Here you can give your group ID. Here I'm gonna give com dot Java coding skills demo is spring dot batch dot demo one in option you can provide some name for that application I'm giving the same name as artifact you can give any name here or let me change that Spring Batch Demo 1, like this. Here you can provide some description about that. Spring Boot, let me give this as well. Our first Spring Batch application. This is package name. So, packaging I'm choosing as a jar, as in Spring Boot, you can create jar as well. So Java version I'm uh, going to choose 8. I didn't install higher version in my laptop so I'm going to take this 8 version. Coming to dependency, here I'm gonna take web. Why I'm going to take this web is in order to invoke the job as I mentioned in my previous video you can choose any job launcher and you can trigger that the job launcher using any scheduler or manual. So first I will show you how to trigger job manually. So for that I will going to expose and one rest controller that will invoke the job. And later we can see how to run the job or how to trigger the job using scheduler as well. So first we will take a look using this rest controller because we have to trigger the job multiple times as we are doing testing. We cannot wait for a scheduler to trigger the job for a certain given time. So for that reason, I am going to introduce this REST controller first. And next, I am going to uh, took this Spring Batch, of course. So along with these two things, in order to deal with the database, I am going to use Spring Data JPA. So for that, I'm going to use this JP. On top of this, we should use some MySQL database to deal with the database operation. So I'm gonna add this MySQL driver. And I'm going to use Lombok as well. What is Lombok is I'll create one separate video on this. So you can go, go there and check that. But I will give some overview while showing the code. So after providing all this information, if you click on this generate project, one jar getting created. If you open this download section, and you can open this in this folder. If you double click on that, it will extract it here. So let's 
open this project in any of the ID. I'm going to use IntelliJ to use this project. Here you can click on file option and you can click new project from existing source. As we have chosen moment project, so here we can select our palm.xml. If you click on open, it will ask something, just press on next and it will import your project. I want to open this project in the same window or let us, let, let us choose some other window. Once this will done, your project will be ready. So let it be complete. So meanwhile, we can open this form and take a look how it looks like. As per our given detail, you can notice this group ID is this. And our artifact is this demo one. And our project name is this spring batch demo one. In version Java version is 1.8. Here a couple of starter we have added. One of them this this is starter batch and one is starter uh, data JPA and the other one is web. And we have added MySQL connector as well. And this is Lombok plugin. This is being used if you try to create any uh, POSOs instead of writing setter and getter and constructor and other overridden method like two string as code equals lot of thing, right? So we can avoid that only you have to create a member whatever you want and remaining thing you can just add one annotation top of the class and you need not worry about all those stuff. As I mentioned, I will uh, create one video on this topic in detail. Once this part will done, you can go ahead and create your package structure and you can start writing your code. So for now, I will show this much only. In the next video, we will see how to create exact Spring Framework, Spring Batch application using Spring Boot Framework. Please do like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to not miss any future notifications.